Come back, I have been tagged. Go. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing tonight? Uh, or this afternoon, whenever you may see this. Morning, whatever. Hope you all doing great. Um, I was tagged in a video and I apologize it's taken me so long to shoot this. Uh, but Max over at Hike Camp tagged me in preparing this video. And basically it stems from another tag, you know, of course he got tagged with. But understand the tag was, what do you do, how are you prepared for adverse weather conditions? First off, um, I believe anybody that goes in the outdoors, first thing you do before you take off is look at the weather forecast. Um, you know, if there's a 50% chance of rain, I'm probably still going to go. Um, you know, a good 50% chance, it may not happen. Now, um, you have to have a mindset that if there is a chance it's going to rain or snow, that you're going to get wet. So you need to dress for those conditions. Um, rain gear is a plus. Now, I keep a poncho in my truck that when I throw this bag in there I throw it in there anyway um, and then when I get done I take the poncho back out of here this goes back in the house and the poncho stays in the truck so does my walking stick my walking stick stays in the truck all the time too so that way it's already there um, as far as adverse weather conditions on the trail um, I would have the poncho I would put the poncho on uh, normally when I'm hiking, I'm wearing wool socks anyway, so water on the feet are not going to be a big issue because my feet will stay warm if it's cold. Uh, if, you know, if it's wet, it's wet. Now, I always carry an extra spare, extra pair of socks in my backpack, whether it be for hiking or, of course, an overnighter, then I would take a little bit more than just an extra pair of socks. I might take two pair of socks. Uh, personally, and I don't know how y'all feel, but as far as clothing, what I wear in, the only thing I might change up at night is my shirt. Because if I've been sweating or, um, you know, hiking, you don't want to go to bed with a sweaty shirt because then you'll be cold. So I always have a spare shirt with me for sure, too. Um, but as far as pants go, it's going to be the same pants the next day. Sorry, I'm not going out there dating. I'm going out there hiking. Um, so anyway, um, as far as that goes, you know, I, like I said, when I get ready to go, you know, I look at the weather forecast. Okay, there's a 50% chance of rain. Highs are going to be in the 80s or 70s or whatever. Lows are going to be down into. And let me tell you something. Um, I found out the hard way, you know, 60 for a low can get cold on you if you've been wet all day. So remember that. Uh, 60 can be cold if you've been wet all day. So anyway, um, for the most part, I mean, that that's how I prepare for adverse weather conditions. There's only so much you can do. Um, sometimes you just have to suck it up and take what you're given. Sometimes, uh, you know, like I said, it's just a matter of and as far as camera gear goes, that's the other big concern I have when it comes to adverse weather conditions. I'm not going to break out this camera, which is my big um, Canon video camera. I'm not going to break out my DSLR. I'm darn sure not going to break out my vlogging camera. I'm going to go after the GoPro. Um, the GoPro is made to get wet, and it won't hurt it, and still does its job like it should. And I will say I've got one of the GoPro Hero sessions right now. Maybe Christmas time we get a Hero 7 or something. We'll see. Um, so anyway, that's, something that's that's always been my biggest concern. Oh, and as far as the camera goes, if I start out using my vlog camera for a video and then it starts raining, well, I keep a baggie in my bag for my camera. And I keep one of those big baggies so I can seal it up and she stays dry. Another good op uh, option is a dry bag of some kind, a small one, because you can get the small dry bags. So that's basically it. It's probably taking way longer than it should have. Um, I guess I'm going to tag um, Hilltop Outdoors 
Uh, let me hear yours and shoot. Anybody else that sees this, uh, consider yourself tagged and you know do the do the video. So, anyways, guys, this is Patrick Midton Outdoors. Sorry, Max, it's taking so long to get this done. Uh, it's just been weird summer. That's all I can say. All right, guys. So don't forget to check out all my links down below. Click on this other, wherever that video pops up that you maybe hadn't seen or whatever. And uh, see you on the next one.